Nancy and John, we love you. It was a great wedding. You're dead. Have a great time. We'll be thinking of you. Ha uh ha. -huh. Now this is a fun party. I think everybody should join in. Years from now, when you look at this, you will die laughing because we're all a bunch of idiots when we carry on. That's why we raised you this way, to be lovable, caring, and having a good time. Take it over, Mom. I think you've said it all. Have a good time on your honeymoon, John and Stacy. We love you. Okay, we're here at the reception of Stacy and John Warther, just interviewing a few of the guests, and we came to two very important people at table number 19. Table number two, I'm sorry. Okay, this is my mom, known to everyone as my mom, not just to our family. Take it away, my mom. Well, I don't know what to say except Stacy and John, I love you both. That's all you have to say. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and then go. <laughs> and now we're going to turn the microphone over to Miss Ruth. And she's just going to say a small hello. Ruth, can you yes. just say hello? Huh? And look into the camera and just say, hi, Stacy and John, we love you both. Hi, Stacy and John, we love you both. <laughs> that enough? And say, bon voyage. Bon, bon voyage. voyage. Bye, kids! Bye! Well, we're very happy to have Stacy as a member of our Warther family with three sons and all of them being married to wonderful girls and Fred and I love her dearly. And Stacy, welcome. As I said last night, I should say we saved the best for last, but I'll get in trouble with my two other lovely daughter-in-laws. But we're really looking forward to having Stacy in the family. We love her. We think a great deal of her, and I'm looking for a lot of grandchildren. Thanks. <laughs> On behalf of uh, JW and Stacy, uh, I'd like to thank you for the excellent time. Quite enjoyable. And uh, JW, if you ever need anybody to look after that hot tub while you're gone, <laughs> you know where you can find a maintenance man. Moi. So uh, I'm going to pass it on over here to my buddy here, Vic, and uh, take it from there, home. Yeah. Just shorten up. Uh, sweet and to the point I hope <laughs> I hope you have many years of uh, happiness <laughs> best man Save me for later I'll, I'll come in later we love you guys we wish you all the best we wish you a lifetime of happiness and we wish you a great time on your honeymoon yay hi John and Stacy you guys are the greatest couple in the world. I know you're going to have a good time in Cancun. No, I mean uh, Caymans. And I want you to guys to go down every day. Hi, guys. <laughs> I've got stage fright right now. Um, I wish you guys all the best. After seeing you guys tonight, you guys are made for each other. The best of luck to you guys. Have a good time. J-Dub, Stace, how you doing? It's probably about Wednesday night, 11 o'clock, there's nothing going on TV, so you decide to pop the video in, right? That's, that's why we're here. Okay. My, my, my fans are here. Be back. I'll be over there in a minute. Well, J-Dub, I want to rem reminisce some famous moments for you. Remember the night you were at Theta with that girl named... Pe oh, I can't tell you about that. Um, the guy. No, Stuart, no one's supposed to know about that, all right? Jesus. All right, how about the time you were at KD and you were at that blonde, it was Pledge debut, and you guys went up... Shit, I can't talk about that either. Well, J-Dub, I'm really sorry that I can't tell you about any famous incidents, but just know that we did 15 shots for you last Friday night for the many broken hearts across North America that you've incurred tonight. So best wishes to you and Stacy, always. I want to go to Disney World. <laughs> Disneyland. Hey, Coach Jim. Hey, who's this guy getting married anyway? We came out the street. Yeah, this is a really good party. I don't know who this guy is, but uh, I'm glad to be here. It's I'm really having weird. trouble with my English right now, so I don't have too much to say, John. I hope they got a lot of greats around here so I can get a good night's sleep tonight. Where are you going for your honeymoon, John? Disney World? Disney World. John, stop, stop. when Stuart gets married, buy him a hairbrush so he gets to use when he goes to wedding receptions. <laughs> he got I up. think I'm going to lose me when that comment. He got up a little late today. Yeah. What else? Uh, I don't know. Right. Uh, give the microphone. Take. Uh, <laughs> These are Parkdale redneck people here, okay? Rednecks from Parkdale. Them guys. <laughs> hey, we wish the best of y'all. Best wishes. Thank you for having us at your wedding. We have y'all. 
Say hee haw. Hee haw. I want you to pan over now and say, up. that's you right over there. You don't know what the hell we're doing right now, but we're making a tape, and that's for you. Say up. Say up. Wave high. Wave high. Wave high. See? So you don't even know what the hell you're waving at, but you're waving at us. All right, thanks. I'd just like to say this light is really bright. Congratulations, Stacy and John. And John, why did it take you so long to undo the bra? I mean, you've done hundreds before. Why is this one the big problem? Was it the lights? Was it the pressure? I understand. And now, over to Chip in the newsroom. Hi. <laughs> um, I really don't know what to say except for congratulations. You're a great couple. Stacy, um, I know you're a fine nurse because we studied together way back when. And um, Chris was really sorry he couldn't make it here today. And he's thinking of you guys. And he's got some special words of wisdom for you that I'll share with you later. Congratulations. Stacy and John. You guys are the greatest. You're the best looking people in the world today and for a long while. Have a great married life together. Hello, this is Tom Ogle, Cable News Network. We're here at the Panama City Country Club. Mortar shells are falling all around outside, but you never know it in here. It's almost like December 6, 1941, one night before Pearl Harbor. General Noriega is still firmly in command, but these folks just couldn't care. This is Tom Ogle, CNN News, and that's the way it is.